I was talking with a student recently about prescriptive versus descriptive language on the LSAT. This was coming up. We were discussing a reading comprehension passage. Specifically, it was the critical legal studies passage from back in prep test 30, if you want to take a look at it. But I was thinking about this concept in general and how it applies to so much of the LSAT. A lot of LSAT flaws are when you have descriptive information as a given, and then someone makes a conclusion that is prescriptive in nature. So to define these, prescriptive is saying that you should do something. It has a value judgment attached. On the other hand, descriptive is simply describing a situation, stating a fact, talking about things as they are. And again, back to prescriptive, in contrast, which is talking about things as they should be. So let's say if your parent, if your kid, a parent says to you, your room is dirty. They're not saying that your room should be dirty. They are describing the situation. And in fact, there is an implicit statement there, implicit idea that if your room is dirty, then you should clean it up. So describing the room being dirty, that's descriptive. And then saying, as a result, prescribing a course of action that you should do something is prescriptive. So a lot of LSAT arguments, a lot of LSAT flaws have this sort of disconnect. We can bring up another example and say something like, the LSAT is used for law school admission purposes, describing it. That is not necessarily saying that the LSAT should be used for law school admission purposes. So again, note that distinction. One is giving a suggestion, one is simply stating a matter of fact. Now, I was thinking about LSAT questions that might contain this language and in order to illustrate this distinction, and it's actually pretty easy to do. You just look at any LSAT exam and scan for the word should, or if you have PDFs, do control F for the word should, and you'll typically find a prescription associated. So, of course, I went ahead and did this. I pulled up the June 2007 LSAT to share an example with you. And due to LSAC's copyright concerns, I'm not displaying the question, but this is from the June 07 LSAT. It's in the logical reasoning question number 17 from the second section. It's about a hospital executive, computer experts making a recommendation. So I don't want to spoil this for you, but I do want to bring up that the evidence talks about computer experts maintaining what the most significant threat is. So they are describing the situation that the hospital institution faces. Then the hospital executive concludes that we should make protecting client confidentiality the highest priority. So the evidence was describing what experts maintained, what they believed, and then the hospital executive makes a conclusion about what should be the case. So once again, evidence is descriptive. The conclusion is prescriptive. We don't necessarily know that this conclusion follows based on the evidence. If the experts maintain something, does that mean that we should necessarily do something? It's open to debate. And of course, this is, this is a flaw question. And so there is automatically some doubt that we should bring to this question, to this line of reasoning. Anyway, hope you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe to be notified of new episodes as I release them. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.